their fiscal year on behalf of New Age Maintenance Academy. Uh, this video I intend to show you about uh, ME engine auto tuning. As you can see, we are in the ECR with the engine running at running it is running at 54 rpm. And uh, this uh, auto tuning, what I wanted to tell you. Uh, when you, you would have heard people that uh, telling that uh, the ME engine is, uh, keeps the engine always in the auto tune condition. Basically what they mean is, you can see here, this is the auto tuning screen. This continuous running, this will be always on. If you stop it, it will not keep it, keep it in auto tune condition. And that auto tuning also it is doing only for P max. Okay. If you want to do tuning for P com and P I, this you have to give command manually. Manual command is required to give this. So right now, um, if you see the engine, we can do auto tuning only at certain. Uh, one, one, at, at one time, uh, certain degree of uh, uh, so at certain conditions actually because first condition is the uh, engine load should be more than 25% at least that's why uh, during maneuvering and all we don't do uh, auto tuning and the engine uh, Fuel, uh, fuel index that should be stable so the weather should not be rough because auto tuning you can do only when the this is in the RPM mode you cannot do it in the torque mode auto tuning you can do only in the RPM mode so the weather has to be fine weather has to be fine and the uh, load has to be fine uh, uh, engine load should be sufficient and another thing is the all the sensors uh, the PMI, PMI sensor in the engine and all should work properly and uh, these are all the requirements before you come to a decision to do auto tuning and uh, basically because the PMI output is what is important here the <coughs> and another uh, requirement is Please remember, down below the thing should be okay. In the sense, exhaust valve condition, fuel valve condition, piston ring condition, especially these three. Because auto tuning cannot help you if you have, suppose, uh, an issue with uh, one of the fuel valve which is terribly leaking. You cannot do, you cannot, uh, you know, make the engine not. Uh, you cannot tune the engine by auto tuning because the index, the tuning index has to be within certain range only. So uh, before you go for the auto tuning, you need to understand this first. See this is the auto tuning screen which as you know process adjustment auto tuning. Okay. So right now if you see uh, you see this, uh, that's why I keep this sheet in the ECR um, always. You see, uh, suppose this is the Pmax, okay. Any deviation from the mean value, suppose the, uh, the 135 is the current value, okay. And ordered value is 136, that means the MOP is checking the mean, val checking the mean value and telling the unit to gives uh, tells the unit to increase or decrease the Pmax how by means of timing okay so whenever it goes up and down that means uh, you see the de deviation is something like this uh, you can see here uh, suppose uh, if it is greater than 20 I mean 20 means more than 20 bar above the uh, uh, mean mean value suppose this is 136 is the mean 
it should not be greater than uh, 20 bar or less than 20 bar also okay so it will this cannot be uh, maintained by mop this more than 20 bar it cannot be maintained by the mop between 3 to 20 bar i am telling only first for p max okay because continuous tuning is available for p max only as i told you before so this is the if you find this symbol here uh, for a moment uh, that blue symbol came that means the deviation was between only 1 to 3 bar usually our engine is the engine will be in this state only provided down below the things are okay okay down below if the things are okay you see now it is deviating a little again it will reduce the mop is acting and again it will uh, the deviation will come to below 3 below uh, between minus 1 to plus 1 these are all deviations between uh, this for pcom actually but you see minus 1 to plus 1 it will be in the horizontal line you see here between 1 to 3 this symbol will come Minus one to plus one from the average, no issues. So this is from the negative side. This is with respect to the average value. Suppose uh, same P com also they have put the same uh, uh, reading and P I also. Okay. So uh, the M O P auto tuning. Uh, M O P auto tuning. First you are seeing the conditions are okay. load is okay the index is stable and the there is no major problem down below and my sensor is okay okay so you see if you see here now how i am going to do is so i hope you understood the screen these things what are all this this is giving command mop will give command to adjust to come closer to the average value it will tell all the units you in, you uh, increase or reduce these are all whatever i am telling is uh, happening in a fraction of a second so it, that's why this is always mop is always acting on the uh, for give, making the p max even okay now if you see a uh, little bit uh, before you have, you have seen the so insufficient index also came you would have seen in the same video when you scroll before now you see these are the four things i told you index should be stable now it is stable index should be sufficient sufficient index is there and sensor values are all okay okay so stable index means this is stable governor uh, fuel index this is stable yeah, sufficient index means engine load engine load is more not less than 25% and sensor all sensors are working so now you have an option of as you see you have two options uh, one is all other one is you can do individually also okay uh, what, what i am trying to tell is the engine as long as the p max is continuously on if you see the p max is continuous running in the sense p max continuous tuning is going on okay so if you want to do pcom auto tuning or pi auto tuning then only you have to give a manual command okay you don't need to give a manual command although you can give but anyway it is working on it basically so this you need to know first p max pcom and pi only you need to give so as long as you are not getting any deviations in pcom and pi as long as you are not getting any deviations no need to auto tune so basically what i am trying to tell is when you will auto tune an engine when you will give this command for pcom to auto tune when you want to give suppose uh, if one of the piston ring is little weak your pcom is i am telling not uh, uh, worn out or something exhaust valve uh, uh, very uh, is nearing due for overall so that time what happens accordingly the mop will uh, if the if one of the unit is coming due for decub all these things i am telling not for any damage not for any worn out okay so that time 
you can uh, give manual uh, you can give tuning of uh, pcom and uh, now i will show you all when you give all this is the adjustment screen what will happen is when you give all also before auto tuning ensure that mop load and the pmi kilowatt and the mop load and the pmi load is within 2% okay otherwise the sensor values again you have to see uh, any adjustment to be done or what okay so now if you see now i am going to give all okay and in this screen i am opening the this is the cylinder load which i have told already uh, in, during the mop operation video also i showed you this will uh, now the engine is less than 50% load so during pa tuning if tuning is required then it will adjust in this section if you run more than 50% load when you give pa when you when the pa tuning is done this section will get adjusted okay and this is the section where when you when you give command of uh, p max auto tuning or p com auto tuning these two sections will change okay so this is the these are the changes you see now it's now giving tuning in progress okay as it is it is balanced just for our training i am just giving this command uh, auto tuning otherwise you can give any time whenever the you are in good c with normal running rpm you can give any time and uh, at performance also after we take uh, we try to do one auto tune and uh, another uh, routine is once we reach the c speed after departure port after the rfa is given once we uh, come to the speed uh, at the rpm where the uh, ship is intended to go in that rpm you can give auto tuning now you can see these things have happened you see any changes here you can see with the previous video any thing is happening so uh, you can also give the uh, command for uh, this is you are doing manually like uh, you can increase or decrease so accordingly it will give for number 1 unit i have given to give up to 4 again maybe when it goes in the auto tune condition again it will give back to 3 is <coughs> now seeing like this that means in between the index has become unstable now you saw the thing no that means the index index is become unstable again i have to see here now the index is stable so if i have to give the p max you see the offset is up to 8 so if you want to give manual tuning
the ME engine, the auto tuning, that is why it is a specialty of ME engine. The thermal ba power balancing and all is very, very nice because it is uh, very precise. So the you can achieve a very good performance. Okay, so now I don't see any changes here. As I told you, I don't see much changes here in. Uh, cylinder load the PE was there like this before also because as I told you this absolutely uh, uh, it's one of the example of a good condition that uh, down below also things are okay and my auto tuning is also functioning well if I get these kind of color codes that means the MOP is consistent MOP anyway it is trying to keep it in auto tune condition but these things and all will come when it is continuously giving signal. So, uh, this is the thing which you need to know before you give auto tuning. Then only you can understand its function. This is what I wanted to let you know. And uh, this, uh, I hope any other doubts you have regarding auto tuning, when I discuss with you during my ME engine session, during my online live session, that time kindly you can, I will be happy to clarify if you have any doubts. So, in another video I have put uh, how to take performance from PMI computer and uh, hope that video also will be helpful to you. Thank you guys, thanks for seeing this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.